Alvin Kamara may have completely ruined his upcoming NFL season after committing a physical altercation against another man. It's been reported a six game suspension is likely on the way for Alvin. Plus, he still faces jail time in his criminal case. So back in February of this year, Alvin Kamara was involved in a Las Vegas brawl during the Pro Bowl weekend. Darnell Green, being the man that was affected by Alvin Kamara and his boys, landed in the hospital with severe injuries to his face. This Alvin Kamara case is extremely serious, and it could be getting worse as allegedly Green is looking to bring on a civil lawsuit as well. Only now are we finally seeing what consequences Alvin Kamara will face by prosecutors and the NFL. We've gathered all of the information on Alvin Kamara's case, so let's get straight into it. But leave a quick like if you are an Alvin Kamara fan or ever were. I'm curious if you were ever a fan. Now starting out with how the NFL has been dealing with Kamara's situation. It does not look good. Multiple legal analysts have been looking into his case to determine what the NFL discipline system policies are and there is a very good chance that he can be suspended for six or more games. Even NBC Sports has reported that Alvin Kamara and his camp are embracing for a six game suspension, so here's why. So currently, Alvin Kamara is facing felony charges in the criminal justice system. This is for a physical altercation that resulted in substantial bodily injuries. Now legal analyst Amy Dash had this to say on it. A close examination of the NFL discipline policy outlines the minimum six game suspension for the allegations of affecting another person. Whether or not the person is charged or even convicted and if aggravating factors are present, the policy says the suspension can be increased from there. Now that is coming straight from the NFL policy. Even so much as just an allegation without being charged is enough for a six game suspension. Meanwhile, Alvin Kamara, he's actually facing full-on felony charges. But the report continues stating, in Alvin Kamara's case, police say there is video showing Alvin Kamara allegedly going at someone and hitting someone up to eight times. Under the NFL discipline policy, repeatedly hitting a person is a specifically listed as an aggravating factor. Alvin Kamara was seen on video hitting eight times. If true, especially since it is a allegedly resulted in Darnell Green being hospitalized for a certain amount of time with a fractured orbital bone, a repeated hit of this sort could also undermine a self-defense claim by Alvin Kamara, which would be one of his only plausible defenses in court. When asserting self-defense, the force used must be the same as the force incurred, and only used as long as the issue remains. Having a person down on the ground like Alvin Kamara had Green repeatedly going after them when they no longer pose an issue and having others join in with you would likely not allow him to lessen his consequences on a self-defense strategy. Now I know that may have seemed confusing, but here I'll simplify it. The NFL not only having a policy of a six game suspension, but also the fact that Alvin Kamara could get more time for being an extra aggressor, he's almost most certain to miss a lot of time from the NFL. Not to mention, this is still in the courtroom. There just has not been a trial yet, which could lead Alvin Kamara to also having jail time. And while everyone's focused on how many games he suspended, people are still forgetting he could still go to jail. If they wanted to make an example out of Alvin Kamara's case though, they could use the aggravator rule to bump it up for even longer. Now, if we're almost positive Alvin Kamara will be suspended and it states in the NFL's policy that he should be suspended up to six games minimum, well why hasn't it been announced yet? Well, typically the NFL waits for the criminal case to be over before they discipline the player at hand. Now it's almost guaranteed we're gonna have to wait on a verdict of the Camara case until we see the NFL step in with their punishment, very similar to Deshaun Watson. Now this is meaning he may not be suspended until the next season. It truly depends on how long this criminal case lasts. 
again, similar to Deshaun Watson. Now, there has been many occasions in the past where the NFL does take action before criminal proceedings are over, but that's only if a video was released to the public. That way, they know everything for sure. Now, this has not happened yet in the Alvin Kamara case. The law enforcement has gathered video surveillance on the night of the brawl, but we have not actually seen hard-hitting evidence against Alvin. You have to remember, prison time is still on the table for Kamara with the felony charges he's facing. Getting more into the legal side of Alvin Kamara's case, there is still a lot to be done before a verdict is reached. Unless Kamara and his lawyers were able to come up with a plea deal, which would change a lot, currently, his next scheduled court hearing is for August 1st. He's already had two previous court dates, which were both postponed due to both parties having negotiations. Plus, we all know how long the court system can take. Currently, Alvin Kamara has one felony charge that he is facing, which is a physical altercation resulting in bodily injuries. In the state of Nevada, that can carry a prison sentence of one to five years behind bars, as well as a $10,000 fine. If Alvin Kamara is away from the league for one to five years, years, it will most likely ruin his NFL career, as he would not be able to train as NFL backs can inside of prison. Now, maybe his NFL career could survive if only he had to stay behind bars for one year. But even then, the following year is when he would then be disciplined by the NFL, probably in a suspension for 6 to 12 games, or possibly even longer. Not to mention that Alvin Kamara's court case is still in the hearing phase. It hasn't even moved on to the trial yet, which usually takes the longest. His court case could easily be dragged out all the way till next year before we even have a verdict. Now, fortunately for Alvin Kamara, he doesn't have any sort of criminal history with other incidents such as this one, and that will play a role in helping him get less time behind bars. But there is still a slight chance that Alvin Kamara could escape this whole thing without any trouble. He's just going to have to give Darnell Green probably a pretty hefty amount of money. And according to Lawyers Online, Las Vegas is notorious for trying to crack down on violence in the city. They'll be wanting to give him time behind bars as much as they can. Even lawyers that got into NFL's players' court cases, they had this to say. Prosecutors in Vegas are less likely than other places around the country to offer plea deals or get-out-of-jail-free cards especially with video evidence available. Showing the alleged brawl, prosecutors would not be motivated to offer a deal, as it would actually be easier of a case to prove that he is guilty. If Alvin Kamara is convicted and faces jail time, expect him to be out at least half of a season, maybe more. If he does get a plea deal, it's even more likely he could serve jail time. The deal would likely involve a reduction in charges in exchange for him agreeing to serve jail time rather than trying the case. This way, prosecutors don't look like they're just letting him off the hook expect his attorneys to be likely pushing for a plea deal. And if he has to serve time, then push for it to be during the off season. But keep in mind, the criminal justice system can be very slow. Right now, Alvin Kamara's lawyers probably see the best way out of this case being a plea deal to reduce his charge from the felony level. There's a very similar charge to the one Alvin Kamara is currently facing called conspiracy to commit bodily injuries. It would be classified as a misdemeanor demeanor that carries up to one year behind bars as well as $2,000 in fines. So if Alvin and his court team can take a plea deal, they would try to take that charge instead. This way, not only does the case clear up faster, he will also be serving less time behind bars. Although, it's just up to the state on what they decide to do with this case. Whether they want to try him for the felony level, or sentence him for one to five years, or maybe even just let him off due to him not having a bad criminal record, and he pays Darnell Green out a large amount of money. But as far as the case is concerned right now, this could be affecting him not only for the 2022 season, but possibly even the 2023. We're going to be having updates about the court case every single time one comes out and reading over the paperwork. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. It's been District Football and I'm out. Peace.